Okay, so on this one, we're to evaluate negative absolute value of negative D, where D is negative 65. That's a lot of negatives. Okay, so what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to grab that right there, that negative 65. And I'm going to plug it in right there for D. Okay, so what do, what do we get then? We get negative. Let me bring down the uh, absolute values. Okay, and um, negative. So I've got this negative sign, this negative sign, and then D is itself negative 65 right there, because that's what D is, right? Look at all those negative signs. You tracking with me? So we get the negative on the outside, we get the negative on the inside, and we get D, which is itself got another negative. Okay, well, what do we do? Well, the stuff on the outside is just going to sit there for a minute. That one out there. All right. Okay. And then what happens in here? Anybody know what happens with negative, negative 65? What is that? What happens when two negatives get on the 65 like that? It, it turns into a positive. Exactly. Two negatives make positive. In math, two wrongs do make a right. <laughs> two negatives make a positive like that, don't they? That's right. Good. All right. Now, absolute values, time for them to do their job. What absolute values do? They make whatever's inside of them positive. What already is positive. Okay, great. So they'll just leave it alone and then they vanish. But the minus on the outside, he's still there, right? Let me make sure we're clear on that. Absolute value bars make the answer inside positive. And after they do their job, then they vanish, right? So they make whatever's inside of them positive, inside positive, and then they vanish. So it already was positive, so they didn't really do anything, and then they vanish, they're gone. And so now what are we left with? Negative positive 65. Now, what does that mean? Negative positive 65. That's just negative 65, huh? Right, a negative times a positive is just negative, isn't it? Two negatives would change it back to positive, but one negative is just negative. So the final answer is negative 65 because there was a negative outside of the absolute values. Really, we could have known that from the beginning, if you think about it. Look back up here for a minute. What, see this stuff that's in, or Raven right here, the stuff that's inside? It doesn't matter what's inside of an absolute value because absolute value bars are going to make the inside become positive. The inside, just the inside, there, right? Inside. Whatever's outside is just going to stay there. And there was a minus outside all along. So we knew for sure that minus was going to be there in the end because the absolute value is not going to change him. And so the answer had to be negative 65. So there we go.